Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at um the first of the LOL Surprise Tweens. This is the Masquerade Party. And there are four to collect in this series. And they are all, um, all of their designs are heavily influenced by Alice in Wonderland. The one we have opening today uh, has 20 surprises, unboxed party accessories. Uh, she is Jackie Hops. And Jackie Hops is supposed to be influenced by the White Rabbit. So, uh, I'm curious to get her open and feel how how uh, how she looks and how she sees. And this, these are actually all the uh, all the members of the Masquerade Party. Jackie Hops, who we're going to be opening today. Uh, Max Wonder, who I also have in my possession. Uh, Gina Hart and Cat Mischief. I'm grooving between fancy dance, fashion, and day-to-day -day style, but I'll always do it my way. This masquerade will be a wonderland, and you're invited. Let's take a couple of moments to take a look at the background of her box before we look at our accessories. We have these curtains that are done in different tones of pink with lights around them and hearts hanging, hanging off them, heart beads. Uh, we have this cool hanging light. And then I think there's like tinsel hanging down on the windows. We have roses. We have uh, cup teacups. A teapot. A little podium there. A distorted clock that is says that it's 8 o'clock. I don't know if that's meaning anything. Uh, but it says LOL on the bottom down there. And then this is like a whole like paper crafted shelf shelving unit which is really cool um i think it's supposed to be like a vanity or something because it looks like there's even like calendars and stuff behind it that's neat too and then it says lol first annual masquerade dance so does that mean that there's going to be more of these to come throughout the years that these that this doll line lasts i don't know but it looks like we do have a stand here, and that's where they they geniusly hid the other part of the stand. So I get the stand out, and we're going to take a look at our accessories. So Jackie has some pretty amazing accessories. Okay, so let's see. These are her secondary pairs of shoes, which is interesting that they come from a, with a second pair of shoes. Uh, they are like a yellow... Yeah, like a like a yellow color. And they are painted with glitter. And they have a little pom-pom. That's actually fuzzy. On the tip of the toe. Follow that yellow color. We have a yellow compact. Yellow on one side and then silver on the other side. And it opens up. And there's her color pattern. Palette. And then it does have this little little um stick on mirror in there, so it is functional on the hinge. That's cool. And then we also have this yellow bottle of nail polish. It says uh, BB Nails on it. And then we also have a little makeup brush that doesn't really the scaling is a little bit off. I guess it could be a cheek blush. Come for a cheek brush. We have a really cool purse here uh, that is obviously influenced by the fact that uh, the White Rabbit used to carry around a pocket watch. So this is like a pocket watch purse, which is really cool. It's probably stuck open, but you can put stuff inside of it, maybe. Some of your little dinky stuff. And then she has this weird holdable thought bubble that says, I'm fashionably late. Um, I don't know if she's going to display with this or not, but it's, it's an interesting accessory. Um, also, I just wanted to show you, again, uh, the inside of the little vanity that she had, that she had all of her stuff in. There's some good detail work in here. Uh, up there you have a rip-out from a, um, a fashion, or maybe a music, uh, magazine with Lady Diva saying, In the Snow. And then we have a chandelier hanging up there. I don't know if that's some kind of, uh... Just some deco art that looks like a sun or a moon. We have a faux mirror. Uh, we have the, our calendar here. 
and the calendar actually says something on it. Um, on the seventh, fashion sketch completed, and then we have that right there. Where the, we have final week, and then down here it says FW due. And I don't know what that one that date is. Is oh, it says don't be late. And then down here we have some books. It looks like, or some folders, and then some cookies that say "Eat me, eat me, eat." Oh, looks like we had a little bit already. And then down here is there's this little hidden flap that I want to show you guys. I don't know what's what could possibly be in here. Maybe it's another outfit. That would be really cool. Um. Okay. It says uh, "Fashion BB," and there's angles. And I don't know what that thing is right there, but anyhow, there is a line bag inside. Oh, and there's also a little magazine inside here. Bottom of that, there was a little instruction manual here for, you know, the stands and all the other stuff, and their hands do come off. This says, Welcome to Wonderland. It opens up like a magazine. There's Jackie Hops right there. Her like her artwork. You're invited. Who the star? Who the star? Why? She's late for her photo shoot. And one day she'll be a top model. Modeling, huh? And there's the back part. Let's see what's in here. Who knows what this could be? I'm hoping it's another outfit. We even have our special bags here. The masquerade party bags. And, oh, you know what? We don't have sunglasses yet. So I'm guessing that's what this is. Oh no, it's lots of things. Okay. So here's our sunglasses. Oh, and they attach on with a clip. It's very interesting. And, oh, we have an earring. And photos? Oh. There's her with the, the queen one, and then there's her with the cat one. And then her with Max. That's so interesting. Okay, um, let's see. And the earrings are this puffy tail, probably supposed to be a rabbit tail, and white ribbons. And then a gold faux chain that holds them down. All right, let's take a look at our doll. Okay, so bunny hops. How do I even start? Where do I even start? <sighs> Her hair is bubblegum pink, and she has uh, three braids on each side and divided in half. And then the braids are wrapped up in like these space bun braids. So she looks really, really cool. And then uh, she has a darker pink almost some you know she's darker pink in the front and um a blonde streak in the front these are very 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 producty uh i wish the curls were a little bit different i don't really like when it does that i like i'd rather have spiral curls if they're gonna be crispy but anyhow this this part of our bangs is divided over here and this one over here, so you got that crossover crisscross type thing going on. In her hair, she's wearing this really cool pearlescent white set of ears, or like a ear headband, and they are transparent in the middle here. And in the um, in the printing has like hearts, and it looks like hearts in the earth and water and stars on the ears. It has a transparent plastic that's in the center. Um. She has pink eyebrows that match her hair, uh, brown eyes, and she has like a cat eye almost type uh, eyeshadow effect going on there with the uh, yellow and black and yellow. And her bottom lashes are white. You can see that. She does have a dark bubblegum lip color that kind of goes with her hair color. Uh, she's wearing, I don't know if this is a one-piece outfit or not. Um, I, I, I'm actually going to go ahead and take this jacket off and show it to you off her so we can go over the detail because I don't think these pockets are that great either. Let me just pull it off her.
That is a pink faux fur collar line. Um, and almost a ribbony type feel. Um, is the white fabric that makes up the jacket. Um, uh, my biggest problem with this is I don't like that they printed on it like that. I don't like they they printed on a watch. But, and the pockets are faux pockets. They don't, and they're kind of cheap. I don't really like how this... But it is supposed to be a costume. I have to remember that. It's supposed to be a costume and not an outfit. Um, I don't like that it uh, Velcro brick was in the back. I would have liked it better if this was a solid back and then this opened up in the front because that was the Velcro. But um, anyhow, though, when you take it off your gir our girl, uh, you'll find that she has another... Is this a one piece? Yeah, that, it's, it's, she has this really weird, bizarre dress that's cool. Uh, so you have this sparkly pink fabric on this side that goes all the way down to below her ankle. And then uh, over here, you have like a meshy uh, material that's gold with sparkles in it that only comes to about here. And I don't know, are they shorts? Okay, no, it's not. It's just part of the dress. And I'll show you the back of it. So there's how it fits right there. And then the dress also has a chain that goes from this side, the back to the front over here. And then chaining that goes around the that goes around and comes down the bust line with the hearts right here. And this is all like metal. This is real metal. Um, so that's impressive. And I think the metal does go around the neck as well. And then underneath her dress she has uh these thigh high I think they're thigh high socks. Thigh high socks that are like a pearly white color that shines, shimmery. And then she has these really cool boots that I love. They're almost like a rain boot in my in my opinion. And they they're the they're the same type of design as her ears. So they're white based and then transparent white with all these different designs that are printed on them. And then we have like the faux fur rimming on the top. I love these. I can't see myself putting her in the other shoes over these, but I'll try them out just for the video. Um, so I will be right back. So I love how they put a snap on the back of the, or a click snap or whatever you want to call it on the back of the masquerade glasses, because it's going to have a little bit more of a lasting lifespan. Um, the elastic goes eventually in some of these things and they just don't fit anymore. Um, I, I have come to the conclusion that I very much do not like the jacket. I don't. I, I like, okay, I like the attempt, and I think that the design would have been amazing if it was executed proper, but it's, it, you have to pull it down the top a little bit to be able to see the strapless sleeves that are inside, uh, and the choker, without this part drowning everything out and just making it look, and it's, it ends up looking frumpy and, and ill-fitting, so... I do very much hate the jacket, so I don't know if I will be displaying her in the jacket or not. Uh, that's kind of going to be a choice on my end. But uh, other than the jacket not being to my likings, this is a really good doll, and I'm happy to add it to my collection. And that is Jackie Hops. And stay tuned for more videos later. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.